No, we're not. We're ahead of time. It's all right. It's all right. I'm going anyway. Uh, screen. Not working. My computer. I don't know what I can see. The mic is up. You're back. I didn't realise we're ten minutes ahead, and I've already hit the record button. Uh, <laughs> Whatever. I'm sure you can work with magic. Um, but you've been busy, I take it. It's, it's that you've got to build it all in your head and you don't actually see if it's worked until it's finished. <laughs> it that's, really can be there. This is why I don't go near stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, but that's also kind of how I do the videos. I don't even I don't even look at them. I don't watch them. That's how I make videos. It's like I've got a rough idea what I'm going to do, and uh, it evolves. So if it's two minutes or fifteen minutes, it just evolves. That's why I love this uh, Facebook live streaming. It's like it's going to sort the men out from the boys. Um, and you know, there's no when it's out there, it's out there, and mine's mine's. Blowing up fast. I think it was 500 views on something yesterday. Uh, or I got because they give you notifications now as to uh, where you're up to and blah, blah, blah. So it's blowing up fast and there's more and more people watching all the time and more and more commenting all the time. So, you know, I learned a lesson today off it. It's like anything. If we keep doing our thing before anyone else does theirs, we can put it out. And I can put out a video now telling you where the floor is in Facebook streaming as we discussed er earlier. So that kind of stuff uh, we'll do on a day. I'll do on a daily basis. I mean, you know, we both know we've come across things in the last week that have just popped, popped up where I don't know. I'm, I'm getting people who have not seen my stuff before. So I don't know if the analytics are. Once you've got a stream of uh, people watching you, more and more people see so I'm getting more and more new people watching my stuff now so they're obviously getting the flash up so that's good and that's good for content as well and that's good for everything are you, are you making a note of what times you're doing these so you can see then is there a time and that works better than others or well you know here's the thing um, because we're on Facebook you know you're gonna get an audience at a certain time from a certain place so I'm Mine is so scattered. I mean, obviously, I've got a lot of, a lot of, uh, I don't know how many people in, in New York City, for example, that's three, three hours ahead. And then you guys over there, they are eight hours ahead. And more and more over this side. And then again, I've got people watching all, all over. So for me, I'm not the best judge on that. But if someone's got a local type community on uh, Facebook, and I've, I've got, I've had some feedback, feedback on this, from a guy over on the East Coast. Um, he said when he posted different times, the viewers sometimes were ten percent of what they were, and he found he found the best coast, best time to post was actually about eleven o'clock in the morning, and that's if you're only working a local market. Uh, he said he did this. Oh no, sorry, it was at night. Sorry, wrong. Eleven o'clock at night, and when he posted it at three in the afternoon, the viewers were about ten percent of what they were. So you've got to think about that if you're working on a local time zone. There's a lot of people that can't watch stuff while they're working. There's a lot of people if it's five, six o'clock at night and they're stuck in traffic or they're having dinner with the family. So I would definitely say if you're local, you know, after nine o'clock at night, you know, the kids are in bed, you're winding down, people start playing on Facebook at whatever, nine, ten, eleven o'clock or not. I guess the rest of the world's not like me and you, Mike. Actually, you stop doing it a lot. You're busy playing football. So I guess the rest of the world's not like me. That's literally on Facebook 24-7. Um, including this morning at three o'clock. Appreciate that. I, I, I forget the time difference. <laughs> I should have posted the uh, sake picture before that, then you would have had a clue. So, <laughs> I got messy. Mm. Yeah, no, was, I, I was talking to someone the other day, and like, oh, you've got to post that. Eight o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in at in, in the night, and eight o'clock in the evening. Were they a group? Like, Were they a group? Oh, great! <laughs> is, you know, is everyone on the same time zone as you? He said, "Well, no, they're all, they're all different all over." So, doesn't matter. Yeah, it know. doesn't matter. Uh, and there's something I found what we were talking about the other day then about the um, so the new Facebook emotions. Yeah. Yeah. 
then that will come out. And you know, it, it is, you know, it's, it's a marketing ploy by Facebook. Oh, for so sure. Can, you know, and that's that's what it is. So they can see how how you feel because there were that before. You know, we know edge rank works and how you you know you see people's posts and if you like them, but you know, people won't like something when someone has put something. You know, that's sad. So if, now they can they can just, gauge it all. Just to to be extreme here, if you were in the selling antidepressant pills market, you could soon get those analytics mm -hmm. and do that. I mean, I don't, I honestly don't think antidepressant pills companies would do that, but that's to the extreme. Or, you know, if you can, if you can see, let's say you put the love thing every time you see someone's in a relationship, something new, and you put it into the heart thing, would you then get your stream littered with things like dating sites if you're down as single? This stuff's easy to do. You know, the analytics, if you're single, and you're loving everyone that's in a relationship, my guess is someone like Match.com's sponsored ads will be popping up on your stream all the time. Just, you know, and it's so easy to do this stuff. I mean, if you're Facebook, you, it's the world for this data bank. I mean, it's just, it's got to be for that. And I also think it's a good thing because, you know, if something, um, if something that's not a good event in someone's life, someone's life, you know, someone passes away, and you hit the like button, it, like, do you hit it or don't you hit it? <laughs> now you can do this ad there. Someone's pet dies, you know. Oh, I'm so happy your bulldog died. Oh, yeah. and, uh, oh, I swore, didn't I? Well, never mind. That's pretty much how it's going to go on. But, you know. um, so we're going to. So we officially launch in about three minutes. But unofficially, we've already got business coming through the door, I believe. It was obviously today then. So I've, I've uploaded it and I'm and, and doing like reverse order. Uh, so we uploaded then the, the payment button and put them on. And then it was in between me doing that and me changing the landing page to watch this video then tonight, um, someone had bought it. <laughs> I'm like, who's that? I was checking my PayPal and I've got money coming in other places. And I was looking for someone else. I was like, who's it? Alex? I was like, oh, right, right. Just knowing then the amount that I knew what, what, what it was. Can you determine on the PayPal where it's coming in from? Or is that all automated? So uh, I can see, you know, I can see, well, as, as long as, you know, it's not a business sense. I mean, someone's... I can see what you're Can you hear them flying above in the helicopter? So it is. Yeah, they're filming. Why? Let's go in. Yeah, the only time it'll be difficult is if someone's got like a, a business name on their PayPal account. Which is completely def separate to their personal name. Yeah. Um, it should be the way it's all linked up. As soon as they pay, they get redirected back to the site with access. Okay. You know what? So I don't need to know. What, I'm sorry. I asked the question. <laughs> Shut up and make videos. Who have we got there? Hi, Tony. Hey, Hi, James. How are you, man? I'm good, man. Oh, I can't. Like you, you sun it up there. Oh, yeah. it's, it's freezing here in Manchester. That's why I don't live in Manchester. <laughs> so, uh, good to see you, man. Yeah, no, I'm uh, in my laundry. And I'm heading off to Santa Monica in about an hour. Well, actually, I told her to pick me up at one, which is in two minutes, but whatever, you know. And uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to the Bulletproof Coffee Shop in Santa Monica, just to pick them off, just to stir some shit up. They're going to love me. And uh, doing that, then I think well, I think we uh, started a gig last week. I don't know if you're in on this one yet, Mike. If you're aware of it, so we just in case you don't have enough work on Mike, I should maybe let you know of a few things I've done, with, maybe without telling you. Oh, thanks. Yeah. What have we got? Oh, what do you know about launching TV shows? <sighs> No, not, not my bag. Can't be that hard. You'll soon learn. <laughs> so I did a deal with a, an executive chef to do a TV series with him, all online. Um, and what else? What else? What else have I done that I haven't told you about? Um, oh, and there's an event in San Diego. I think you know about that one. So that's a big one. And a uh, low carb USA event. Um, oh, there's a book launch. There's a book launch from this Canadian girl, Ashley, that's really cool. 
and there's uh, you know well these guys from Vaynerchuk so like Tony we don't see you post much on the uh, promoting the book and you know I said like because I understand how he does his promotion and it's not me stood with a copy of books saying buy this book I've had a whole bunch of people buy the pre buy the books just off watching his videos like you know we'll take a look at this guy but when you see him Tell him he owes me some really good fucking wine. Exactly like that. Tony says you own some fucking good wine. Right, are we launching here? Yep. Come on in. Come on in there. Yeah, we're on 2101. Right here. Right, so, what are we supposed to be doing with this launch? I've got no clue. You know me, I just show up and make videos. I don't have a clue what's going on. So, what I'm going to do is... Uh, hang on a second. I don't know how to do this, but anyway, we'll go. What are we talking about, Mike? We've got about 15 minutes. I'm running on, on uh, I don't know how long the battery lasts in this, but it's, it's not good. Enough. No, well, well, you know, the promotion's been out there. People are aware of it. And so this was just a you know, solidifier, really. Put something down in stone. It's been a you know, months in the making, weeks, really putting it together. Well, you know, on that... It hasn't really been months in the making, but your the work you've been doing on yourself and learning this industry has been a year years in the making now. I'm guessing I've lost track of time. Um, it is actually it's years in the making now. You know, thinking back to I think your first thing was uh, with the late Larry, I believe, was just touching the online the stuff that you guys do that I don't want anything to do with. August. 2014. Oh, okay, 2014. Right, yes, yeah, so almost two years. So you've been buried in that. So in that respect, it's been years in the making. And then I suppose from my end, it's been shit. How old am I now? I look good. Don't guess. It's all right. But it's been like close to 30 years of, uh, and I've worked with both you guys face to face, which is the interesting thing. But it's been about 30 years with the, you know exploring and traveling and doing different things and learning stuff, and I've. I've actually they're going down a bit now, but I still have segs on my knuckles and knocking on doors. You still get people knocking on the door, yeah. But like, it's always some charity gig. Well, no thanks, you know. The girl it's like I get cleaned out by girl what the girl scouts cookies. You kind of step outside. So anyway, um, and over the last I want to say about the last six years, you know, like everyone else, and specifically the social media side of this. Like everyone else, I went about it completely wrong. And specifically Facebook, I use more than anything else. I use Instagram. Now, Instagram, Instagram's great for the hashtags, for getting followers. Uh, don't sign up for one of those get 10,000 followers things because when you look at it, they've only got about two followers each. Um, it doesn't work. And uh, it's great for sharing stuff, and it makes us amateurs like me look like professional photographers, and it's a great tool to use. Um, but as far as interaction on Instagram goes, it's it's not really that user friendly. Um, and therefore, it doesn't work. However, sharing those pictures onto Facebook will try it all in. Same as Twitter. I've, I've never actually. I think I've made me made three tweets in my life. But if you look at my Twitter account, it shows that I've made about fifteen thousand because it links directly to my Facebook. So I've kind of learned these things over the last five six years. More importantly, I've spent a year or two marketing completely wrong on social media so you know like anything else to learn how to do it right often we got to do it wrong to figure it out so you know i'm not a guru by a long way because there are none you know last week you were saying mike you did posted something on tuesday and by wednesday it was out of date about facebook and it's there's no gurus in it it just it's not it's not possible because it just moves so fast so yeah, here's, here's a story on that I heard today. So there's some, I won't name him because, you know, he, yeah, he is good sometimes. Um, but he put out some content that he sold for $50. And it was basically him reading a book, yeah, extracts out of a book, yeah, and then giving his views on it. And I thought, you're joking, you know? You're selling that now? And, you know, it's like, you know, and this is one of the, the gurus. Um, okay, I'm, 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 in my head, I'm even guessing who it is, but I'm not going to name him. But anyway, yeah, that, that, all that stuff. Like, you know, Jarek said, he did a post once, he said, these guys who are selling these courses, 
about starting businesses. They've never started a business. They just know how to sell courses, how to start a business. And, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll plug Chris Green. I don't care. Um, Chris Green that mentioned to me something there. Interesting. And we were at Venetrux. And he said, you know, if you've got something that makes an extra hundred dollars a day, and you can show people how, and it's specifically a hundred dollars a day, how you did it, you'll make a fast million out of it. So, you know, talking about that, on this, I know you've built, I don't, you don't need to know the details, but I know you've built an affiliate program type thing into it. So, you know, can someone make themselves an extra hundred dollars a day doing this? I would say yes without even knowing because, you know, knowing you as I know you, you wouldn't have put it in so it wasn't possible. So, you know, these are the things we learn, like you say, these gurus out there um, peddling bullshit. And it's, uh, you know, there's no right or wrong way with social media. Well, there's a wrong way, definitely, but there's no right way. It's whatever's a fit. And someone this morning said, you know, your, video would get, your videos would get shared more if you didn't swear as much. I went, really? You're actually wrong, but I'm kind of interested to hear your views. Or the offend people. Well, here's the fact. When I swear less in videos, the views go down. And I actually get people messaging me. Sometimes I'll do it for two weeks on purpose. You know, if I've been invited to some corporate event thing and I know people are watching me for two weeks, I try and kind of behave myself for two weeks. Until I get to the event, then the F-bombs fire up straight away. And people actually ask me, are you okay, you will? And I know what it is straight away. They've even mentioned it. So and he's telling me all this that and the other about you know why I'm doing it wrong. And I said, which, which studio do you work for? I'm curious. What studio? In Hollywood. Because obviously you know about this stuff. Which Hollywood studio do you work for? I don't. I, I work in a kitchen. Oh, okay. How many videos have you got out there? I've not made any yet. Okay. So you're not in the industry. You've never made a video. And you're telling a guy that's made thousands and got views in the millions, where he's going wrong. And again, Vaynerchuk did this the other week. He said, would I have, would I have more followers if I, if I wasn't an egotist and didn't swear all the time? Yeah, I don't give a fuck, you know? And that's really it, it's just being, you know, being authentic about it. And um, it's, and I've got off on a tangent here as usual. Um, well, I, I think just, just on that then, it, you know, it takes it back and it's, it's one of the topics then covered in the, in the course. Is it, it's about branding you and being you, and you know, we, we're not trying to make lots of mini Tonys here and uh, lots of mini mates. You know, that's, it's that's, a different, that's a different video, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's another one. <laughs> you know, but, but it is. It's just go out and, and be yourself. And you know, one of the, the videos then, so the people then who got a lot, there's a launch offer on now. So those then that join in the next three days. Um, we'll get all these bonus videos, uh, and one of the bonus videos I put in was was called Find, Finding John. Now I'm not going to own up to it; it's not my idea. I've stole it off someone else, and it's finding your your your, your perfect customer. You know, on it then. There's no point, you know, me trying to go and you know befriend fifty year old cat loving women. You know, not going to happen. I do. I do. Yeah, yeah, you've got a few, I know of that. <laughs> They're on my Skype at the moment, I'm sure. <laughs> but, it, you know, it's that. I've got, I've got my ideal customer. I've got the customer that I want to go for. So I know who they are, and it's, it's one, of the, one of the topics in there. And it's finding that. So it's being new. So, you know, I love then talking to people, and, you know, football, I've got the kids, you know, stuff like that. And then that we can get, like, you can build a relationship with people. And um, we're interested in that I've got. I don't care them whether they've got 50 cats sat at home. I've got none. Yeah. No, no, no love for them. So. Interesting on that. It, Sorry to put it in. Let's do it. DDD thing or whatever you label it. Um, <clears throat> I work with a guy fairly close. Um, I'm not going to name him on here because it's kind of a plug for something else. <clears throat> but his niche is cycling. And we were building a business that involves all kinds of different you know, weight loss and military and blah 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 oh, multi and I said just just go out and ride your bike and tell your story build it and they will come just go out and ride your bike you won't be the fastest start but it's like the hare and the tortoise if you're trying to be all things to all people and spinning plates in the air you lose our um, our identity funnily enough today when you were trying to message me I was doing that live stream that's exactly what I was doing I put it up on the uh, Sparta Media group page I posted it on there 
And it's about two videos I saw the other day, or when I say one today, it's labeled the worst, worst video I ever saw, without any shadow of a doubt. If you watch it, you'll get it. Maybe, actually, you know what? Maybe you could take it down off there and put it in as a freebie. Leave it on there for three days. Then after that, take it down off there and throw it in as a freebie. It's part of the uh, social media thing. So moving on from social media, because we could talk about that for hours. Obviously, the other things that we've done, the being bulletproof, which you went through, and I had to put myself through. I mean, I, I keep mentioning this. A year ago, I was sat in a small, dark room, not a cell, but in a small, dark room in New York City. And the reason I say that is New York City apartments are tiny, like tiny, tiny. You know, the kitchen sometimes is about the size of two laptops. I mean, it's just nuts. Or some of them don't even have them. I didn't have one. And, you know, I, I kind of got in that dark place just because I wasn't getting any sunshine. And when I was going out, I was covered head to toe because of the weather. I wasn't taking any rays, which is why now you see me sat outside all the time, doing videos outside. It's better for me. And um, I put that program together by putting myself in it, thinking, you know, with almost 30 years with the coaching, I should know how to get my swing back. I should know how to get myself out of a, I won't say a slum, but not a great place. I should be able to just tap this in within 30 days. It's not standing in the mirror saying, I am wonderful, I am wonderful, and go out and pissing down rain on you. It's a lot more in depth than that. So that, that being bulletproof program, I know, uh, I think you were involved in the first run and the second run. I think I put that out to maybe a dozen people. And then the second run, 2.0 went out to maybe 20 and great feedback from it and by the way I'm doing a video for people to give me references because there's about a zillion people on the planet that owe me a favor so I'm going to either leverage it or embarrass them I don't care um, I actually found one um, and I don't know why it was in the Google Docs uh, on it then and I forget the name of the blog. I've got it on my other laptop. I just need to try and figure out how to, to swap it over. Um, and you see the, you know, the bloke tells his story and how he goes from, you know, again, I'm not going to tell you, I'm a testimonial, but from you know, zero, not to hero, but he got himself into a, a good place during those, those 30 days. Cool. And then, say, the, the second version was just, I was, it was, you know, there was a slight tweak. And yep. we've, tweaked, we've tweaked it again now for, for this one, um, for, you know, that what, what works. Um, and it is that, you know, for people now looking, it's, it's a 30-day course yeah, where you go through, and there's, there's um, tasks to do each day, uh, and then all relating to the day before, and then once you get into five days, you go back to day one. But it really is a, a series of tasks and that you do. And um, that all work together, and they do the work brilliantly together. Um, and it's great how it's it's a thirty day course because, and you know, I've seen stuff similar where they go, you know, it's like I'll go and buy this book and read this book. You know, well, they don't give you any actions then to do. There's no accountability in it. it, it um, here's here's something I will say. Thing. Sorry, here's something I will say about that course. I didn't sit down and put the thirty day course together. I put day one. At the end of day one, day two. It was how was I feeling and where was I at and what did I need help with now? Based on everything I've learned. Day three. So I did that course day by day by putting myself through it. Well, that's how I know it absolutely works. And again, from the feedback from other people, it's like you say, it's not I'm going to write a book and put it out there and see what happens. This is I put myself through it and I was about a day ahead of everyone else. I put myself through it and then I thought, right. I've done this exercise, where's this leading me to based on my, uh, you know, based on a, a lifetime of learning, what do I need to learn now, what do I need to do now, what action more importantly do I need to take now, and that also rolls into this um, being intent program that we've got out there as well, so that is, you know, it's all well and good, taking action for 30 days, it's a constant, you know, it, it's an absolute constant, those intention things, I did another one yesterday. I just, you know, I thought, right, it's leap year, leap day, whatever that is. And uh, I thought, we've got an extra day. What, what the fuck am I going to do with it? I mean, to me, it's easy. I just go to the beach anyway. But what am I going to do with it? Here's what I'm going to do. And this comes from our uh, 
my late friend there, Lamar Banks, had died a year ago. I, I came up with, at the end of January, I came up with right down 10 things you've achieved this year. So he didn't think he was actually, he achieved anything. So I just ran the same thing. He won such the way through the year. What 10 things have you done? And I came up with, you know, I went to, I went through the California Nevada desert in an RV and stayed in an RV park. I, I lived, had a campfire outside. I went up in the mountains in an ATV in one of the best days of my life. I was going to run in Vegas. I, uh, blah, 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 blah. And I started, we started a media company and we did this. And I stood in the Pacific for the first time in my life. And all of a sudden, you start going, you know what? I'm making progress on stuff. So sometimes people are in that rut where they don't realize that they are actually doing things, but they don't realize they've actually achieved anything. It could be something as simple as I learned how to cook fish. It could be anything. You know, I went to a new restaurant. What are you doing? What have you achieved this year? Oh, well, you know, I found this really good bookstore. Anything. So the intent program is taking that forward uh, with these intentions. And sometimes, I'll tell you right now, I've worked with a few people one on one with this, and it drains me. It's, it's an hour easily. And it started, as, I'll give you 30 minutes of my time. Some of these were two and a half hours. Because so I get right into it with people and dig deep and tap deep and find out your core and your passions and all the rest of it. So, again, we've put that onto video and I think this is probably going to be some worksheets with it, I'm guessing. Um, so that one is, is a constant with me. It's a constant. And I'll tell you what, right now, when I've, when I've sat, not sat down, but face-to-face, -face, FaceTime, whatever, with people and gone through that with them, whether they work with me or not, all of a sudden, when it's got to that part of career and financial, you find out people are severely pissed with being sat in an office or working a job or whatever, or hate the traffic or whatever, which is pretty much everyone. You know? And then you go to that and say, listen, if, you, if you're looking at intentions with your career, there's not much I can help you with. You're not in control of it. You know, if you're going for promotion, that's one thing. If you're looking to double your, your finances, but you're working a job for someone else, realistically, that just ain't going to happen in 90 days. And it's the same thing. I said, look, what is, and I've said the same thing to Levi when he was 15 years old and in a, in a sort of quandary, not knowing what he wants to do with his life. I say the same to everyone. Find your true passion, your true passion, not, you know, I like going to the beach. Yeah, I like going to the beach. My passion is easy, travel. So if someone can't think of their true passion in two seconds, they haven't found it or they're just not aware of it. Find your true passion and figure out a way to turn it into profit. So for me, I don't know how to make money out of travel. You know what? I make stupid fucking videos traveling about stupid places and people watch them and it leads them to say, Tony, what do you do for a living? And I, you know, I'm, and I'm, I'm probably the hardest guy on the planet to do business with. I had a guy last night, and he's asking me questions for like three hours, and I still wouldn't tell him. So do you have a link? Yeah, I got loads of them. Can I have it? No, I don't work like that. You know what? Let's see if there's a fit. Sit and watch. I mean, I just, that's not me. So in the end, I told him to look at this. So he may well be watching now. Uh, and the, the irony of this is he was basically begging for what I had product-wise, and it was ending last night, and I still wouldn't tell him. Now, to some people, that's a bit odd. To me, it's not. There's a reason for it, and it's, I mean, it's, not, it's not a strategy. It's just gut feeling. So, again, that intention thing, sometimes that can lead people into finding their route. There's a part on it on, I don't know if it's seven or eight, maybe, on uh, career and da 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 Your free meeting will end in 10 minutes. Oh, I mean, I'm free. Maybe three for now. I'll upgrade this one. Get off the corner. If I hit that upgrade button now, it's just going to turn into complete push the button. Well, we'll be, we'll be done in ten minutes. So it's alright. Well, like I, you know, I've got to get gone anyway. I've got one mm -hmm. being done, and uh, I don't. I'd walk around and show you what's going on. I'm going to buy a bunch of these. A whole bunch of these. So these are like California fourplexes by right by the ocean. And, um, you know, two bedrooms, cool place to live. I'm right by the strip. Listen, I can't hear anything. I'm right by the strip where all the bars and restaurants are. It's 50 feet away. And this little long play here is perfect for me. Uh, and again, I'm going on the road again. That's just me. Um, so, 
So we've covered, covered obviously, so three programs. So we've got the um, being social, being your intentions, and being bulletproof. Can we just change that to being intent? Yeah, that's yeah, easy enough, yeah. It's easy for you to do. You could explain it to me, it'll only take eight hours. I've, I've only got 30 videos and now to, to change, so yeah, that, that's easy enough. That's <laughs> it's, it, yeah, listen, you know, just go play football. I'll keep you, you, know, you wake me up at three in the morning, I'll do the same to you, man. Uh, we are going to need some help, definitely. So I think what we could look at is keep watching the affiliate programs and see who's doing what. We're definitely going to need some kind of web designer developer, developer guy that can just focus on the site and um, you know, stuff like graphics and all that, whatever. I don't know. Uh, we definitely need some help. And I think we'll take it from, like we always do, take it from the talent. So I thought I'm going to wrap this, man. I don't know how long is left in the panel. I don't want to just to go through. So, any further, any wrapping up comments to make? Two things we've got to cover. Uh, the large price uh, on it there. So obviously you can go now to the, the spartamediagroup.com and you've got free products. The, the large price, they're all at $30 a piece, um, which is just ridiculously low compared to what I've seen. You know, some, some things far, but it, it wasn't that for us. This was you know, just about helping people and, and moving it on then to, to the next level. Um, but there's even you know a better deal. You buy all three for forty five dollars uh, on it. Then so you know for the I don't know how many hours of content I put in there and I still to go in there because this will be a, an ongoing thing. But yeah, just just a ridiculous amount of sure. content that we're going to get over the next thirty days. Just on that one. And I'll, do you have anything else to add? Uh, just one more thing about what I say then about the affiliate offer then. Okay, go on. So if you if you everyone then who signs up and um, joins, see if we become member then of our, of our Spark, Spark group, you'll be added to our Facebook group then that we've got um, on there. But you'll also get the option to, to be an affiliate of it then. So it's that, you know, same with anything. If it works for you, you got to like and share it with, with your friends, family, other team members you've got if you're in a business already. Okay. The commission structure for affiliates, again, for the ones in that join at the launch, are 50% of the cost of all products on tier one and 10% on tier two. So if I sell to James and James sells to Tony, you know, I would then get 10% off, off Tony then as well. Okay, make sure James pays. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I always pay. Yeah, what, whatever. Uh, listen, right, I've got to wrap it because I'm out of time. But on that one, just to put this in perspective, you know, thirty dollars for a month. Fifteen years ago, twenty years ago, I was charging a thousand pounds. That's about fifteen hundred dollars an hour to speak with people one on one. It didn't work with me directly. So just very fast, we use the term a thousand pounds, fifteen hundred dollars. So. I find one of my uh, football clubs, that's soccer if you're American, uh, that I had a bit of an affinity for because I used to go to school there and play on the training pictures. We had gone 15 games without winning, eight games without scoring. I basically show up there. Uh, I had a Bentley at the time. I show up. I just drive straight through. They're not playing. It's a train day. Park it in the chairman's spot. Walk in and say, I'm here to see Neil. It was Neil Warnock at the time. I'm here to see Neil. Just some Tony's here. So, okay. They usher me in. They've not got a fucking clue who I am. Neil's there. And I said, listen, I can help you here. You don't need help. But I don't even know who you are. So it doesn't fucking matter. I'll give you five minutes, 15 minutes of my time free. I said, not one for 15. You've not scored in eight. I can help you right now. I need a whiteboard. So I went to show them that it spent 15 minutes. He called a coach. who also ended up at Leeds or England or someplace. The other coaches were like, well, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm busy having lunch. And he said, you know, I said, I don't give a fuck. If you want a job getting this room now, we've not got your morning 15 days. So I do my 15 minutes and Neil says, yeah, I'm in. Definitely. How much? A thousand an hour. He fucking spat his drink out. He said, we don't, we don't pay star players anything like that. I said, no, no, I'm going to work with your team, not with star players. With everyone. And, um, and he, just, he said, 
I don't control the finances. I've got no control of that. I can't get it. So let me ask you this. Would you pay me a thousand a point for every point you get? They said, yeah, at the end of the season. Said, yeah, that, that I could pull off. All right, let's do that. So I worked with them. They won the next game. And I'd spend 15 minutes with the team. They won the next game uh, away from home, 1 0. They won the next seven games, even tough ones. I got mentioned by Neil on Match of the Day and all this, blah, 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 blah. But my point is here, because this is going to put out in a second. My point is here, we've done this price, because my original, what I said to you, is either 90 or 100, of course. We've done this price to get it fired up fast. So, guys, I'm going to wrap it quick. I'm watching this clock. Um, Mike, thanks for your input. James, thanks for showing up. Good to see no you. problem, mate. And uh, sort of wrap it, guys. What you're getting is what I, you know, I haven't put my prices up in 15 years. I still get a thousand an hour. Uh, you know, if you want me on stage speaking, it's a lot more than that. I'm still, I'm still cheaper than Gary Vaynerchuk, by the way. And you don't have to buy my fucking books. And I hope he sees this. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, so what you're getting is you, you're getting whatever you're getting. Um, you know, like Mike said, we were trying to get the message out there, which we did. And oh, look, I've got a website on my shirt. I forgot. Oh, well, you actually you're in control of that site, I think. Um, so that's it. You're getting thousands and tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of stuff. And that's just me saying it. But think about this wherever you are. I'm saying that a year ago I was in the dark. Right now, I'm sat in the most desirable city in North America to live in with the best temperature. Five minutes walk from the beach, and I'm sat outside on a, what day is it? Tuesday afternoon. For a, a girl, a hot looking girl in a sports car to come and pick me up and take me to LA to go have a coffee. So maybe I do know something about this shit. I don't know. Right, guys. I've got to wrap it less than a minute. If you're watching this live, thanks for watching. If you're watching the recording, thanks so much. Click on the link. Get started. That's what we've got, guys. See you guys, From San Diego. <laughs>